Good morning, everybody. This is Prophet Joel of Maranatha Ministry. I welcome you all to this wonderful program called Command Your Morning. And I thank God for God giving us this opportunity to have this wonderful time and to commend our day, not just our morning, but to commend our day with the Word of God and with the prophetic prayers and the prophetic atmosphere following you today and forevermore. And I thank you all as a humble servant of God. We, we are in Maranatha Ministry. And I am the senior visitor of this ministry, uh, Maranata. We meet in Cardinal Otunga Plaza, the new building, which is just close to Intern Continental, for most of you who knows. So we meet uh, every Friday from 5 p.m. to 8.30 every Friday. And I would also wel like also to welcome you to our day, which is always the last Friday in the end of the month. We always have our Holy Spirit night where we have uh, prophetic words of nation, we prophesy about nation, we give word of knowledge, we, we speak about many things which is about to happen in the technology, business, uh, ministry, really uh, in every places. So I would like to invite you for that uh, end of the month, which is going to happen also on the 26th of uh, September. We would like to have you and we we'll bless the Lord for the union that is going to put us to be together. I thank you all for calling your family, calling your niece, and if there's anybody who's still asleep at home, just tell them, come, come and hear the word of God. And I'm blessed, I'm blessing God for being here again and to give you the word of God because it's been a while, but I thank God for bringing me back and to give you this message of God. So I thank God also for giving us opportunity to be in this command your morning, which is blessing many people many people many people so don't be selfish don't be at all selfish just to keep it by your own but you should actually enjoy and inviting other people to tune always to this program command your morning because i know many are giving their life to christ many their life has just been restored marriages are restored and i thank god for using many men of god to this program which will impacting nations and many places so i would like uh, to go with you in the word of god Please uh, let us read Colossians chapter 1, verses 26. The Bible says, Even the mystery which hath been hid for ages and generation, but now hath been manifested to his sons, to whom God was pleased to make known what is this riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Tell your neighbor, Christ in him, in me the hope of glory. Christ in me, the hope of glory. So this is a subject that we're going to deal with. Christ in me, the hope of glory. So Christ in you in this day is the hope of glory. Christ in you in everything that you are believing God for in the day or today or tomorrow or after tomorrow of the next week, I have a good news for you that Christ in you, the hope of glory. So there's many things here I want to share with you with the prophetic and in the message that the Lord has given me to say it in a particular people in this message. So this message is not actually for everybody, but it's for those gods who has chosen. So I believe you are the chosen one that God has chosen for you to receive this message because if you are tuned, that's been God has chosen you for you to hear this message. So don't move, don't go, don't drink your tea. But right now, just please give me your time for you to hear the word of God that God has placed in my heart to give you today. I thank God I want to start these messages actually with this story. In my room when I was meditating, and when I was meditating, and the Lord Jesus came to me. So when the Lord came to me, he told me specific things about the ministry, about the nations, about many things. So when the Lord came to me, he shared with me one thing that I would like to share with you. He came to me and spoken to me about specific things. He told me this. When I come to you, he said many people actually, they don't celebrate those who God sent to them. Why? He said prophets and men of God goes where they are celebrated. No, because they are men of God. No, because they have certain names or what they, they call so, or prophet or Patrick or, or pastors. No, but because of God inside them. So when the gift is not celebrated somewhere, it means the place where you are, it doesn't belong to you. That's what we can see in the Bible when they say, a prophet and a man of God is celebrated where 
God has positioned him and to fulfill what God has sent him to do in that place. So I would like you to tell you this. When the Lord told me these things, he said these things, that I am in you. So when people received you, they received me. Though when people look at you as a man, they refuse to look at you as a man of God. So they limit themselves. Seeing you just as a man, but seeing you not as a man of God. But it is good now for the church not to realize that it's not anymore for a man. It's not anymore for a pastor. It's not anymore for a prophet. But it's about the one who sent that prophet to give you the word of God. It's about that pastor who God sent to give you the word of God and to pray for you. So that's why Christ came for those who are called poor. So the poor words actually in the realm of the spirit means humbled. So those who humble themselves to hear the word of God. So those who humble themselves to hear the word of God are the one who receive the word of God. So the hearts who actually open up to receive the prophetic word, it is the heart that God come and dwell inside them. And I bless God today your heart are very ready to receive this word Christ in you. And I know after this message, your life will move to another level. You'll see your life shifting to another level. Because I see people rise, rising. I see people taking their place. I see people who people actually ignored you. And they didn't see that good things can come from you. But I see after this message, people will see Christ in you. And Christ manifesting his glory inside you. I feel something is about to happen to your life of somebody who's tuning right now. Maybe you are, I don't know yesterday what happened yesterday. I don't know what happened this morning. But even if you are going to discuss on problem and many things in marriage, I know and I have a good news to announce you today morning that there is something which is happening in the realm of the spirit. There is a turnaround that God is doing. I am from the prayer room and the glory of the Lord upon my life. It's going to touch you wherever you are. And I thank God because of the prophetic which is working wherever you are. It can be in Nakuru, it can be in Kisumu, it can be in Mombasa, it can be in Nairobi, it can be in Nyeri, in Meru. I announce you that God doesn't, nothing doesn't stop God. It can never be distant. Distant can never stop God to touch your life. Oh, just watching TV can never say, okay, since I'm, I'm away, the glory cannot touch you, but this is a proper contact. All God needed for me to stand here and to announce you these words, and by the impartation of this word, something will shift in your life. So if you are with me, just say amen. And the Lord is going to do something mighty in your life. So Christ in you, the hope of glory. So what the word of God say, Christ in me, the hope of glory. Let me tell you something. When God created men, the Bible says in Genesis chapter 1, Verses 26, that man was created in the likeness and in the own image of God himself. So there I will explain people, people actually misunderstand when they say he was created in the image of God. So that image of God, actually people think it was in the physical. No, actually the image that the Lord was speaking in the Bible in Genesis chapter 1 verses 26, it was just in the image of of the spirits that we can see when Adam ate the fruit something actually happened sin took over the first Adam and the glory which was in the first Adam was destroyed because of the sin and we see the Bible say the second Adam came and the second Adam is greater than the first Adam and the second Adam came to break the power of curses which was on our life the power of sin, the power of condemnation, the power of all things that your ancestors did or your parents still doing. But the Lord, who is the second man, who is Christ, who came to deliver us from the power of sin and to take us in the place of the glory. Because the Bible says he came from the glory. He came from the glory and he put himself in this flesh. He humbled himself and he left everything there. He said, let me come to a man who sin? who removed the power of the glory because of the sin, because of hearing the devil. And this Christ is our God, left the kingdom and came. And the Bible says it was 100 person man and 100 person God. And nobody was able actually to see that was God. But for those one was revealed to them, this is the son of God. And they kept the secret until the time came and Christ was revealed to the people. So, this is actually to tell you one thing. 
when Christ came and to remove us from the power of curses and to give us the life which is his life that he had in the kingdom of God to place it in us for us to be the kingdom represented in this world not for now but forever because what is eternal can stay eternal in us that's why he's eternal God and he came to us to place the eternal in us for us to stay forever with him so for those who actually I want to announce for those who who still in this place of not understanding of walking with misunderstanding of the word of God I came to announce you one thing the greater is in you when you acknowledge the presence of God that Christ is in me is the hope of glory it is the time not things started manifesting in your life but when every time you think of yourself that Christ is not in you it is the power of sin and death take over your life but the bible say when we acknowledge that Christ is in you the i am is in you everywhere where you go you know that Christ is in you when you are starting the day you know that Christ is in me david say when i sleep i sleep looking at him in my friend the right side and when i sleep the lord is in me he's covering me his glory is covering me so david was walking even though he was in the old testament but he was walking in the understanding of the word of god he was walking in the understanding of the love of god that i am not of this world but i am the one that god has chosen who can manifest his glory to others so my sleepy will be glorified in the kingdom of god so when we realize that grace is in you there is something which was sleeping in you which is just getting awake when you realize that you are not an ordinary person the day you just started realizing that you are not an ordinary person there is something which was asleep inside you it's just getting awake because the power of acknowledgement the power of knowledge knowing who you are it is the beginning of the glory manifesting in your life it is the beginning of the second man the second adam getting in place inside you that's why the bible say my people die for lack of knowledge why because we don't acknowledge ourselves that grace is inside you you don't acknowledge that grace is the glory inside you that's why sometimes when you wake up you don't realize that there's something great ahead of you but you are waking up with discouragement you are thinking about the failure of yesterday and you are carrying in for the day in which you are right now and that can never work the bible said take every day as a new day that god has given you to see the glory in it but when you wake up with discouragement when you wake up doubting if you're going to get that things that you're waiting to the day it's like something just getting frustrated inside you and yet the glory of god is inside you i come to announce somebody the greater is inside you the greater is still asleep you need to awaken that things that god has placed inside you through acknowledging that grace is in me and declaring it with your word that grace is in me the hope of glory the hope of that finances the hope of that company the hope of that interview the hope of everything that you're waiting for the hope of your ministry the hope of the nation of Kenya the hope of everything that you're believing the hope of your health do you know one thing sickness get its power actually more than and more than what it used to be inside you when you still speaking about that sickness in your life if you have cancer and every day you are just speaking i have cancer i have cancer i have cancer i have cancer or if you have a leg problem you are just speaking every day i have a leg problem i have a leg problem i have a leg problem do you know what always take place what you speak it is what will take place but when you realize that you are a god positions in this body and all i can speak it is the godly power which is life so when you are speaking and declaring that grace is in me sickness can never hit me grace is in me the glory of god is in me grace is in me i shall get that job grace is in me where i'm going i'm taking dominion i'm taking power i'm taking everything that belongs to me because there's only one things that the spiritual world can understand is the words there is a principle that in the spiritual world can all understand it is the words there's nothing else that they can understand it is just your words so if you don't speak it's like something never work will never work so that's mean if you speak negative in your life 
and you don't acknowledge that Christ is in you, you will just see negative things. And do you know the good things about this word I, I, I'm telling you? When you acknowledge that Christ is in you, even the friend who is surrounding you will change. Because you cannot walk just with anybody. Because you know Christ is in me. Christ doesn't like such people. Because the holiness is in me. Christ is in me. I cannot sit with people who are just talking foolishness. No. Your way of speaking will change. Your way of understanding things will change. The way of you moving will change. Even your finances will change. Many things will change when you acknowledge that the greater is in you. And let me surprise you. Every time that you are in prayer, every time that you are reading the Bible, every time that you are coming in the throne room of God to give everything that you want to speak before God, God doesn't look at you as Anna. No. God doesn't look at you as Shania. No. God looks at you as the Son of God. Because Christ is in you, the hope of glory. That means Christ is the one transporting us to the kingdom of God. Not manifesting us as Joel, no. But we are manifested in the kingdom of God as Christ himself. Because Christ has taken hold of us. That's why he said, believe in me. And you shall, you shall be established. Believe in me. And you will have life in abundance. That's been that life you were speaking. It's not our own life. It's not our own plan. It's not our own projects. But it is the life of Christ manifesting in you. So I come to announce you one thing. That the life of Christ is about to manifest in you. After this message, you shall be able to manifest Christ in your neighbors. You shall be, manif you shall be able to manifest Christ in your church. You shall be able to manifest Christ in nations. You shall, be manifest you shall be able to manifest Christ in your marriage, in your home, and in everything that you do. Because the glory of the Lord is arising upon you. Because Christ is in you, the hope of glory. Please read with me in Corinthians chapter, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verses Verses, verses, verses 3. Please, quickly, quickly, quickly. The Bible says, Be made manifest that he are an epistle of Christ, ministered by us, written not with ink, but with the spirit of the living God, not in tables of stone, but in tables that are hearts of flesh. This is a powerful message I want to announce to you. This was Paul speaking. Paul was always just in one thing. Paul understood these things I'm telling you. That it's no longer Paul living in this body, but it is Christ living in me. Why did he say that? He said, we learn from you. What? You become a letter for us to learn. God can make you a letter for many people, generation and generation, learning from you. Why am I saying that? When we get the word of God to be our parts, when we get the word of God not to be in, the, in, the, in a stone, a table of stone as the word of God we read, but we make it to be our own insight. The only way people can notice that grass is inside you is through the word of God manifesting a life inside you. So I come to announce you one thing. That's when you eat this word of God, daily praying over it, manifesting the glory of God every day through the word of God inside you. There's one thing that always takes place, grass maturing itself inside you. The old man which was in your life getting disappearing because you are getting saturated by the power of God. The power of the, fl or the flesh getting disappearing. The power of death, the power of sickness disappearing because God is arising inside you. The light of God is shining. You can get in a building, you can get somewhere. People are just noticing not anymore. Caroline, that people are not noticing anymore. Eric, but they're noticing somebody else. The light, that's why I understand the word of God says, you are the light of the world. Because the light of God inside you, it is clarifying everything. All ancestors, power which was working in your life, every curse, every idolatry, where your parents or family were doing, it is over because when you realize that grass is inside you, the hope of glory, things are getting 
powerful. When you realize that trust in Kenya is the hope of glory, all problem that Kenya is going through, it is getting over. When we realize that trust inside the government, everything that is going bad as in the government, we know that trust will take in place because we are speaking the word of God that trust is in this nation. So I come to announce somebody, change your way of speaking today. Change your way of declaring. Change your way of thinking. Renew your mind today through the word of God. Speak the word of God. Speak what you want. Because when you acknowledge that Christ is inside you, there is nothing which can stop you. But I would like to invite you to do one thing. Because of acknowledging Christ inside you, for some of you who never accept Jesus Christ, for some of you who never met this desire to meet Christ and to change all things of your life, I come to announce somebody, if you're going through death, if you're going through problem, if you're going to divorce, let me tell you, don't speak divorce, don't speak those deaths, don't speak those problems, speak the word of God today. And I would like to invite you, if you never accept Jesus Christ, for Christ to dwell inside you, I would like to invite you to invite Jesus Christ. Invite the Lord Jesus Christ in your life to be your Lord and your Savior. Because there's no better life outside than Christ. There's no better life outside the glory of the Lord. This world, we're going to leave it. It can be today, it can be tomorrow. But I'm come to announce you, Christ is coming soon. You better get ready for the glory of the Lord. You better get ready for you to be together with Christ in the heavenly places. So I come to announce you, for you to speak with me and to declare with me the word of God today. As we are going to go, to go deeper for prayers for sick people, for people are waiting for breakthrough in the day, I would like first of all to deal with people who never accept Jesus Christ in their life, to uh, join you with me in Christ Jesus. So one day we'll be all together in the throne room of God, celebrating God, oh wonderful God, this wonderful God, hallelujah. Now I would like you to stand where you are, if I can allow to ask you, Please stand where you are. If you never accept Jesus Christ, just lift your right hands where you are and follow me in these prayers together. Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you for these words. Short but mighty and powerful in my life. All I want to do today, I want to acknowledge your presence in my life by accepting you as Lord and Savior. Lord, you say come to me with your life and i shall transform your life today i came just as i am please lord forgive my sin forgive the sin of my family and i accept you as lord and savior in my life and i declare and declare today i am a son of god the past is gone i am now a new man blessed in the kingdom of god in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. I congratulate you. You are a son of God now. So don't look at anymore at your past, but look at your future and your presence right now, that you are renewed. You are renewed. And acknowledge Christ is inside you. Now, after this song, I will pray. For those who are sick, for those who are waiting for a breakthrough, if you have an interview to do, if you have anything to do in the day, just believe with me that God is with us and the prophetic grace will locate you. I will speak, I will declare over your life. If God lead me even to call you by name, just believe because God is about to do something in your life. Precious Father, Lord, I thank you and I bless you, God, because I know since you say in the cross that it is done, it is done for my sister. It is done for my brother. I give you praise and I give you honor. For those who are sick right now, as a prophet of Jehovah, I'm standing now by the power of the Holy Ghost to against that power of sickness. And I rebuke it in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, let the angelic ministry that heals sickness May they come in your room. May they come in your sitting room. May they come in that room of that hospital to heal you. And I commend you now, wherever where you are sitting or sleeping because of pain, stand up and walk now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Sickness disappearing out of your body. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the peace of God dwell inside you. And I decree and declare everything that you are believing God for in this day, it is done. May the Lord bless you abundantly. May the cover of the Lord to cover you 
and the blood of Jesus to cover you. Go and you shall succeed. Go and the things shall work properly for you because God is with you and he always honor the words of his prophets. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I thank you all and let the hands of God be upon you. Follow me also on Facebook. Follow me on YouTube, Prophet Joel Lutuka. We shall also be glad to have you in that place and to update you for every movement that we have about to do. So call also those numbers which is just passing on your, in, your, in, your, in your screen. So call and we shall pray with you. If you have any requests, if you want to partner with us, please call those numbers and the Lord bless you so much. I am Prophet Joel again and God bless you so much. Let the peace of God be with you. Shalom.